right, AWS Lambda announces tiered pricing, and I'll put this article in the in the chat as well. There we go. So, tiered pr pricing for monthly Lambda function duration in gigabyte seconds of using. The additional pricing tiers are discounts on aggregate monthly on-demand duration. So, looking at the article, they give you <laughs> okay. The tiers are at the first six billion gigabyte seconds. And then an additional nine gig, nine billion gigabyte seconds. It goes down by about what is this about ten percent? And then yeah, pretty, yeah. And then again, it goes down after your fifteen yeah. billion gigabyte seconds per month. Yeah, actually, this one, this announcement is a, is way simplified. I think it gets a little more complicated. So, can we pull up the lambda pricing? Yeah, let's pull up the Lambda pricing. So this is really the announcement over here. So you have the new tiers. This is a much better way to understand how the pricing goes. So first, um, in while you can, I mean, it's just obvious. The ARM prices are lower than the x86 prices. Like look at the duration column and it shows you how much it's going to be, um, how, how much the charge per, for every GB second. And the difference, though, which I'm, which I'm curious about, is that they keep the slightly higher pricing for a little longer on the arm. So you, for the first seven and a half billion GB seconds, you are in the, in the most expensive tier, and for x86, that's down to six billion. You really wonder if that extra one point five. <laughs> Billion gigabyte seconds for that. What is this? Hundred thousandths of a cent. Was it really worth adding that extra? A whole <laughs> other doubling the size of this table. Correct. Um, I mean, that that part just seems a little. You know, it just feels weird. And can you imagine the complexity you have to add behind the scenes for billing? Because then you have to. It's not a simple tiered pricing. Then you have to worry about how many billion GB seconds per month you're consuming, okay? So I'll step back, I'll say two things. Number one, I don't know how many customers use six billion GB seconds. I haven't done the math on how Actually, many hours that is. You know, that would be really interesting for them to put is in the blog post today, we estimate that this will impact our top 30% or 50% or if this is only for the top 5% of users who are heavy users, it would be interesting to know who this impacts. Correct. And I think the numbers, like at first glance, when you look at 6 billion GB seconds, that number just seems insanely high. And my first thought goes to, I don't think we'll ever touch that kind of number. But I guess if you start looking at it in the terms of number of hours, that you're going to actually run this, it might be significant. I mean, I've got some, and we'll, we'll see this uh, in the behind the scenes episode next week. I've got some Lambda functions to deal with uh, video encoding that take on the order of, you know, a low amount of minutes uh, in some cases. So that adds up. I mean, six billion is still a lot, but you know, it's it adds up. And I don't think I don't right. think. So let's say we had a concurrency of a thousand, right? There are a thousand lambdas that are running all at the same time within an org. So that's six million. Um, yeah, so, so the six billion, divide that by a thousand, you're left with six million. And then divide that by 3,600. And that's about 1,600 hours. $1,700. Okay, so a different. moderately big organization would, would hit this. Uh, oh, actually, this is, not, this is not incredibly large. Like anyone running like three or 4,000 Lambda, oh, but this is on a per month basis. Actually, that's still pretty large. You would need to run almost fifty thousand lambdas concurrently to hit this number. 
Yeah, so it would be really interesting to know, okay, we estimate that this will save money for X percent of our customers. Yeah. That'd be interesting to know. Well, all right. I don't know if there's too much more to talk about here. Let's see, nothing else changes. But if you're using, I think, a lot of Lambdas, then as you use more, it gets cheaper on a per unit basis. Three tiers and then different tiers, slightly different tiers, depending on if you're on x86 or ARM. Okay. Can you go back to pricing? There's actually one more table at yeah. the bottom that I wanted to bring up. Yeah, no, the, the table on top where it compares x86 pricing this one. and um, no, the one below that. Below, the one below. Okay. There's data transfer, Lambda no. Edge. No, not Lambda Edge, the one on top. There's a section that talks about per second, uh, there's a table. Yep, right that, there, that okay. one. That Oh, I see. Okay. So this one slices the same thing uh, by MB and gives you the per millisecond pricing. And if you compare the x86 price versus the ARM price, you will find that there's about a 20% price difference. 20%? You think there's room for one more column in this table? And I don't know if you noticed, but now the the pricing changes on a per, from a per second basis to a per millisecond basis. Okay, price like, per one millisecond, price per one. Oh, okay, no, no, price. It's still price for one millisecond. Yeah, but it? then all your other stuff is in terms of GB seconds. Oh, I see. Okay, so then you just have to deal with the extra couple of zeros. <laughs> like, oh. could they make this more complicated to comprehend? <laughs> so then. Um, so, okay, so how do we rate this this article? Because on the one hand, you don't have to do anything. Nothing really changes. Right. But on the other hand, the way they communicated it could be a lot more simple. Yeah, I think I'd give this one a one. Okay. Or a two, maybe. I, 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 yeah, I, I feel a little generous. Here we go, two clouds. Give it two. But I think they've just complicated the communication to a point where a lot of customers are going to say, I know what my, <laughs> yeah, this is definitely very, very high on the complexity alert. A lot of customers are going to be scared of figuring out what their net costs are going to be. Like they've been using Lambda, they know what their current costs are. And this doesn't provide a clear indication that they should move. It's, it's a complex calculation that someone has to perform to figure out whether this is actually going to be cheaper for them or not. My instinct tells me it's going to be about 20% cheaper. Yeah. But they've just represented this in such a convoluted manner that I don't think anyone takes away that. From and these multi-tab tables, we got to get rid of This is only if you have a lot of different columns. But <laughs> this yeah. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so... All right. Well, I, but it's a good, okay. So overall, good thing, but a lot of extra complexity in the communication. Exactly. 